From the moment I first met him, I knew he was my husband. God confirmed it so loud and clear. Can see squared, I'm officially engaged. But let's take a look at how we really got here. <laughs> morning guys welcome to another vloggy vlog this is a weekend vlog and um, i can't see from this distance so i'm wondering if i'm probably squinting my eyes but anyway let's continue with what i wanted to say good morning i hope you had a good night rest because i did and i hope you woke up and read the bible and prayed and spent some time with god because that's the standard period okay um, today is a Saturday. I have quite an eventful weekend. On Sunday, I'm preaching at church. Super duper excited for that. I always get so excited when I have to share the word or, you know, I just love being used by God, honestly. So the whole week I was just praying, I was just in prayer. Actually, I love how doing that actually brings me closer to God. Because honestly, I don't have it in my own strength to do the preaching. I don't have my own strength to share the word. And this is why I have to depend so much on God, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus to come through and just use me as a vessel. That even when I do this, they appear and I'm like, you know, it's not even me, child. But child, so Sunday I'm preaching at church. And then today, which is a Saturday, I have an event. I actually got this event invite throughout the week. It is with a new hotel. I'll probably show you the email. Or the invite thing or read out the details you may actually do that and while we're at that before we even get to the invite i hope you guys can notice the sound change i got a mic i got some mics um i have one clipped on here i hope you can see it and this is the other one <laughs> super duper excited please tell me if you can notice the sound change if you like it and all that but i really want to show you guys that email um let's go find it again it was sent by a new hotel. Okay, so I'm going to read it out to you. It says, good, good day, Ken Sunny. We trust you are well. Thank you for being a part of the a new hotel stakeholders. We hereby extend our gratitude to you, our stakeholders. You're invited to a client appreciation gala dinner on the 23rd of March, 2024. Excuse me. You're allowed to bring a partner. The dress code is semi-formal. Theme colors is black and gold, and the time is at 12, um, 12 midday. And then please RSVP to book your place. Am I allowed to show you the email? I don't know, I don't know, but I read you the email in case I cross boundaries because, like, they put in the details there. But so that's the invite. This is a client appreciation dinner, colors is black and gold. I actually have a black dress that I recently bought, so I'm just going to rock that black dress. They actually did send a follow-up email rectifying on, like, telling me, oh, sorry, it's we meant lunch and not dinner. Because at first they said gala dinner at 6, and then they said they changed the time, so it's lunch at 12. So I'm like, that's cool. I think the lunch works better for me because, honestly, driving at night, <laughs> for me, is a whole entire different story. I'm going to get my face done and my hair done. Probably just going to put my hair in a nice bun, like a cute bun. But yeah, so that's what we're doing this weekend. Sunday, I'm preaching. Today's the event. And my plus one is going to be mom. Talking about the events, my plus one is going to be my mom. Um, So she's going to arrive here at 11. She said she's coming through. She's going to arrive at 11 and she's going to help me get dressed and then we're going to leave together. So yeah, that's just the plan for the weekend. Let's get this weekend started. And also, I'm going to go for a walk right now. So yeah, but I think I'm going to go for a walk or a run uh, while lis listening to worship music just to calm my mind, calm my thoughts, and 
to spend time with God really. But let's get this weekend started. <laughs> Morning has broken, my windows are open. Wanna feel the wind blow through my hair. Which way do I follow? What happens tomorrow? I turn to you and hope you can guide the way. Sometimes I Mr. Sito Redheart. Good morning, baby. How's work so far? So far, so good, baby. Hey, baby, you must work well. Know that I love you. I love you too, so you're ready Not really. I'm about to go out for a walk. This is actually my first event in Whitbank. So that's exciting. I love you. I love you too, baby. Bye, baby. Bye, baby. First thing I do when I wake up is really brush my teeth. I'm so adamant about that. But let's prepare for our run or walk. We'll see really how it goes. I got this gym tight. Interesting enough, I do not have a black gym tight. And I'm a gym person, so got this gym tight on Sheen. I have this black gym tight. I'm gonna wear it alongside a black sports bra. So it's gonna give like it's a set. And I have a black gym jersey just to cover up. Um especially when I'm not at the gym, just to be appropriate. So yeah. Let's get dressed! I can see you far and wide Across the ocean, above the clouds In your presence, I am free I hear your whisper I feel the so refreshed I just came out of the shower there will be a sound change because i don't have the mic on just came out of the shower i'm afraid i might be behind time a bit so now that we're done with the walk it's time to get my hair and makeup done hair is tied in a simple bun as you can see so let's get this face a beat It is so vividly that I still remember all the days I prayed, cried and waited for a future husband from God and oh how perfect God is that he made it happen when the time was just right and he made it happen with a person that he knew would be the most suitable for me. For now let's get into this clip that I took about a year ago wondering how I was going to meet my future husband. <laughs> As a single Christian, I just always thought, you know what, maybe God, I thank God, but like, well, is he going to be God-fearing? How am I going to do that? How am I going to do that? How am I going to figure it out? Is he going to come? Is he going to... And then I realized the same way I trust God in each and every single aspect of my life, maybe I should trust him in that aspect of my life too and say, you know what, I'm starting to operate from a point of contentment. I'm starting to operate from a point where I'm trusting God fully and not even worrying about it. Literally not even trying to figure it out to say, okay, Okay, maybe I need to do this. Maybe, but you must do. Maybe Uzofelanga. You know, like when you go grocery shopping and just like I might, I might meet my husband. I might stop it. Like I had to say, can't see. Wait, stop it. Relax. Stop operating from a point of trying to figure it out, trying to fully understand it. Because the truth is, you're never gonna fully understand it, and that is okay. Because you chose God, He is a God that gives you understanding, but He's also a God that guides you and leads you according to His purpose. And so when I let go and let God, this is what happened. So we have arrived, guys. Look at my mom. What are you even saying? Outfits on point. I want to wife you. I want to put a ring on it, make you mine. I want to do life with you. And to be honest, this ring doesn't make you any better than you already are. You were a wife before I found you. 
You were gold even before the sun winked at you. You were everything and more I didn't know to pray for. They say he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from God. So I bless the day I found you. My good thing. My oasis in this mundane world. I bless the day our paths crossed and my eyes beheld you. You are the kind of woman our future kids will be proud to call mother. You're my answered prayer, my Proverbs 31 spec. You're beautiful inside and out. She said yes.